It's an Italian classic, seasonal serving style. Coming up, I'll show you how to add some fall to a basic Italian risotto for maximum flavor and that seasonal flair. This week's seasonal servings puts a fall twist on an Italian classic. Pumpkin is the star ingredient and we're using it to add some fall flair to a traditional risotto. But we don't stop there. Spices like sage add savory fall comfort and we'll balance it with the sweet pop of dried cranberries. Topped with pecans and pumpkin seeds for a delicious fall crunch, it's a dish that's sure to please anyone looking for a comforting fall meal. I'll finish up shopping and meet you in the kitchen soon so we can get started. All right, everybody, we've got all of the tasty seasonal ingredients acquired for my pumpkin risotto. This is a nice seasonal twist on an old classic. Risotto, it's creamy. The texture is just incredible and it's just very hearty. And there's really no rice like it. It uses a special kind of rice called arborio rice and it just creates something extra. This is going to be a labor of love though, as you're about to find out. We'll get started and get right into it because there'll be a lot of moving parts to this one. So first and foremost, you start with onion. Traditionally, you hear a lot of people using shallots. I prefer just because of the season, the pumpkin and some of the other savory ingredients we're going to be adding here, I want a sweet onion. Normally when you're making a risotto, you will deglaze the pan. I have some white wine or you can use white cooking wine to do just that. You add in your rice and then you're cooking your rice slowly, little by little in broth. The broth evaporates, you add more until the rice is al dente. You can't use anything other than arborio rice. It's just, you could, but it's not going to be the same. The texture won't be. What we're going to do with our pumpkin is mix it into the broth to add it in, to continually incorporate it as we go. We're gonna move off to the side here and we are going to take four cups of broth and then in goes pumpkin, your star seasonal ingredient. Don't be afraid to use the canned stuff. Risotto, I told you earlier, it's a labor of love. I would be crazy to say roast your own pumpkin and puree it first before doing this. I mean, if you want to do it the day before, by all means, don't let me stop you. But canned pumpkin, it's something that's seasonal as well. It's not something you can get in the grocery stores all year round. So I'm gonna give the canned stuff a pass in this particular situation. You'll notice that this blends very easily and to make life easier, I'm going to transfer this into this big ginormous measuring cup. The onion is softened enough that now I'm going to add some garlic and this is just one garlic clove. We do not need to overdo this. There are going to be a lot of different fall flavors here. So we don't want this to be garlic forward. And we'll start with a little bit of our first ingredient and that's sage. This is a beautiful traditional fall herb and fresh, it's so potent. It's just, it's incredible. And this is really going to add some delicious fall flavor to our pumpkin. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. And yes, you add the rice here before you deglaze the pan. Order of operations is very important here for the perfect risotto, no matter what kind of risotto that you are cooking. Make sure your risotto rice is evenly coated in the butter and just let it cook for a couple of minutes. Think of it like toasting your sesame seeds. Now we're going to deglaze with white wine. This is why you put the rice in first because as this evaporates, you want the rice to absorb that flavor. It is just another layer of flavor that is incredible. Turn the heat down. You want medium high heat to start, but at this point, you wanna cook this fairly low and slow. This is a labor of love, as I've said. So we'll start with our first ladle. Once the liquid's gone, you're going to add more. And then you keep doing that for about 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, 
Ugh, look at this, the creaminess. Oh, this is just, trust me when I tell you. This is absolutely perfect. We're gonna make it better. There's already butter in here, but we're going to add a little more because it just adds this glossiness and this additional sheen. We're going to mix that in. Oh, delightful. And we're not even done yet. <laughs> we'll take a break here. And when I see you next, we are going to be adding the finishing touches to this decadent, savory, amazing and comforting fall dish. And then of course, I'm gonna finally get to try it. It's exciting times here in the seasonal servings kitchen. We are finishing up our pumpkin risotto and there are a couple of things we have yet to add. You're gonna really love these here. Of course, it wouldn't be a risotto without some Parmesan cheese. We're going to add in some dried cranberries. I know I'm sneaking this in last minute, but a little bit of nutmeg will go a long way as the finishing touch here near the end. So much more of that fall comfort that you look for in those dishes. And it's really going to help complement the pumpkin. It'll just be amazing. Oh man. Oh, I smell that immediately and I get a whiff of it. Oh, beautiful. Now it's time for my plate. I assembled one very finely chopped pecans for a little bit of crunch. And if you so please, some pumpkin seeds and a little more of the goat cheese. And just for a little bit extra, I just love me, my Parmigiano Reggiano, Pecorino Romano, or just good old Parmesan. It's all good to me. Look at that. Does that not look delectable? I'm sure it will be and I'm getting right to it. I'm not even wasting time. Look at that, creamy, silky, looking amazing. This is the bite I've been waiting almost an hour for now. Shut the front door, people. Oh my goodness. It has that hardiness, that decadence. It can stand alone as its own. It could be a side dish. You can add some chicken on it and it's a full complete meal. Whatever you wanna do, you've gotta try this recipe, man. Oh, it, this is delicious. This might be one of my favorite recipes of seasonal servings, for sure, everybody. All right, I'll be sure to get this entire recipe on our website, fox43.com. And if you have an idea or a seasonal ingredient that you would like to see here in seasonal servings, send me an email. I would love to hear about it. But until we are here in the Fox 43 kitchen next, making our next delicious and seasonally inspired dish, I hope that you too will eat with the seasons and just just enjoy yourself doing so.